Hi everyone, I'd like to show you how to create a quiz in Canvas using a Word document. I stumbled upon um, San Diego State University's site, which shares some really great resources that I'll link below. Um, so to get started, you want to make a Word file using the formats provided here. So as you can see, there's a regular multiple choice with one answer. There are true and false questions, as well as multiple answer uh, questions, and to write uh, an essay as well. So you wanna figure out what kind of questions you have and put it into that format. So what I've done here is I've put uh, my quiz into this format, and as you can see, um, I first started kind of making it, you know, without spaces and I couldn't figure out why it wasn't working. So I went ahead and deleted the spaces, but I'm not sure if that's necessary. But just to show you, this is, you know, a multiple choice question with one um, answer. And I just have a space between each of these uh, here. And what I did is I turned off all formatting so it wasn't doing the funny um, formatting. Uh, that's helpful in an outline. Um, here's a multiple response answered question. So you can see I've used the brackets and the stars to show that the answer to number one, two, and four is correct. And that's the style of question that I had. Um, so I'm just going to take these away. Now this is a 10 question quiz. Oh, it looks like nine questions. Um, and what you need to do is save as a plain text file. Okay, that's very important. Click Save, and because I've already had it. Now, it's going to ask me all these questions here. I was uh, creating this on a Mac, and so that was the default text encoding, and I kept getting an error. So what I had to do is other encoding and click on, and these are many options here, Unicode UTF-8. And when I did that, it seemed to work fine. Now what I'm going to do is go back to that San Diego State document, and I'm going to drop the file that I created here, um, it, uh, the text file, right in. So when I drop that in, it creates a quiz zip file, which you can see right here. And now I'm going to take that file and drop it into Canvas. So I'm going to go to settings and I'm going to click on import course content. And the content type is a QTI zip file. I choose my file, there it is, the zip file that the San Diego State site made for me. I can leave all this as is and I can click import. As soon as I click import, it's actually gonna create, uh, I'm not gonna do it because I just did, but as you see right here, completed. And it takes a little bit and you can see it progressing in a green bar. So when I go to my quizzes, Check and see if it worked. Yep, there it is. I can see my quiz. I can preview to make sure that's what I was looking for, that everything looks fine. And you can see that it's been created there. If I want to edit the quiz, I can go ahead, change um, the title. I can change, you know, how the quiz type, the assignment group, when it's available, and so on. Whether I want to see their responses, let students see their responses and correct answers or not. And I can also go in and actually um, um, look at the question and so on. So that's how you do it. Uh, pretty simple. Took me a couple tries, but the site helped a lot. Thank you.